Welcome to Waco, Texas. Located in central Texas along I-35 on the Brazos River, Waco is the county seat of McLennan County and is the home to Baylor University and, of course, the Magnolia Silos. I grew up 40 miles from here and graduated from Baylor University right here in Waco. I've lived my entire life near Waco and have seen the changes in this central Texas city. From a laid-back small city developed around farming, ranching, and the railroads into the vibrant and energetic city it is today. But Waco was not always the destination it is today. But with the popularity of Magnolia Marketplace, the growth of Baylor University, its historical background, its numerous ways to enjoy the outdoors, and the development of Waco's restaurant, arts, entertainment, and commercial scenes, it has become one of the most popular travel destinations in the country. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the things that Waco has to offer. And in future videos, we'll dive deeper into the places in and around Waco, Texas. Join us for the beginning of this new video series that will highlight Waco and Central Texas. In the early 2000s, Baylor University was experiencing growth as a result of Baylor 2012, a vision to make Baylor a world-class university by the year 2012. However, for many years, downtown Waco had struggled through various attempts at revitalization, but they mostly never worked. That is, until... Baylor alums Chip and Joanna Gaines decided to make Waco the base of their Fixer Upper TV show and their Magnolia Empire, and as they say, the rest was history. Today, Magnolia Market, located just blocks from Baylor and a now completed, reconstructed Interstate 35, is the center of a booming downtown. Magnolia Market at the Silos is a unique shopping experience situated on two city blocks and marked by two grain silos. This marketplace is home to a number of retail shops, a bakery, coffee shop, and even a historical church. Since its opening, it has been Waco's leading tourist attraction and has drawn people to Waco from all over the world. These shots were taken on a Monday when the crowds were not too bad, but be aware, this place can be very busy on the weekends and lines become huge on holidays. Just a couple of miles or five to six minute drive away is Magnolia Table, a breakfast and lunch restaurant that is also part of the Magnolia Empire in Waco. Magnolia Table was once the historic Waco Elite Cafe and was renovated by the Gaines into a hip and also very busy restaurant for breakfast and lunch. And what about the rest of downtown? Well, it has become a destination itself, with trendy restaurants and hotels, fashionable shops, hip coffee shops, and modern entertainment venues, all with the backdrop of Waco's historical background and chic loft apartments created from many of the buildings that were once eyesores in downtown. Also located downtown is Chip and Joanna's newest project, Hotel 1928. This 33-room boutique hotel is another of Waco's restored historical buildings and in addition to the hotel features three food venues. Waco is surrounded by its history beginning with the restored Waco Suspension Bridge. Located right in downtown, it was once the longest single-span suspension bridge west of the Mississippi, and after its completion in 1870, it served as the Brazos River crossing for the Chisholm Trail. The cables for this bridge were supplied by the same company who built the Brooklyn Bridge. Today, it has two modern parks at the ends, Indian Springs on the west and Martin Luther King Jr. on the east, and serves as a pedestrian bridge between the two. Located on the west end of the bridge are the Branding the Brazos sculptures. These sculptures depict a trail boss driving Longhorn cattle on the Chisholm Trail across the bridge.
standing watch over Waco is the landmark Alaco building. This 22-story building, still in use today, was the tallest building west of the Mississippi and south of the Mason-Dixon line until 1929. It has become a symbol of strength after surviving the F5 tornado that devastated Waco in 1953. If you are into museums, you will find some unique ones in Waco. Also located downtown is the Dr. Pepper Museum, celebrating Waco as the birthplace of the Dr. Pepper soft drink. Also located in Waco is the Texas Rangers Museum, the Texas Sports Hall of Fame, and on the Baylor campus, the Mayburn Museum, celebrating the natural science and cultural history of Central Texas. And certainly not to be forgotten, located on the outskirts of town is the Waco Mammoth National Monument. Guided tours are conducted every 30 minutes of the dig site building where the mammoth fossils are still in their original position in the bone bed. These fossils are the only known nursery herd of Colombian mammoths in the U.S. While you're out that way, check out Cafe Homestead, often rated as one of the best places to eat in Waco. Located in the Homestead Heritage Agrarian and Craft Community, it joins the Craft Village where visitors can purchase finely crafted handmade products of various types made by members of the community. While in Waco, don't forget to visit Baylor University, the oldest continuously operating university in the state of Texas and one of the first west of the Mississippi. Chartered by the Republic of Texas in 1845, Baylor has contributed greatly to the growth of Waco as it is today. Start your tour of Baylor at the newly completed Mark and Paula Hurd Welcome Center and then drive or walk around the campus to see the beautiful Georgian architecture that has led to it being labeled as one of the most stunning college campuses in America. If time permits, take in a game at McLean Stadium, one of the few stadiums where fans can arrive at the stadium by boat and sailgate in the Baylor Basin, a cove adjoining the stadium. If basketball is your thing, try the brand new Foster Pavilion located across Interstate 35 on the opposite bank of the Brazos River from McLean Stadium. That is, if you can get a ticket. Looking for shopping? Besides the many downtown and Magnolia shops, check out the Central Texas Marketplace, the place Wacoans go to shop. Here you will find retail stores to fit all of your day-to-day -day needs. Finally, if you are the outdoors type, you will love Waco. Flowing through downtown is the Brazos River, which has been dammed by a low water dam to form Lake Brazos. The river walk stretches approximately seven miles along the Brazos from Baylor University to Cameron Park. Cameron Park is a 416-acre park located near downtown Waco along the Brazos and Bosque Rivers. This park is filled with hiking and biking trails of all levels and breathtaking scenic overlooks. It also has playgrounds and a splash pad for kids, as well as a disc golf course. Cameron Park is also home to the Cameron Park Zoo. As if Lake Brazos isn't enough, Waco also has Lake Waco. Filled by the waters of the North, Middle, and South Bosque Rivers, Lake Waco is good for fishing, boating, and any type of water recreation. 
Want to see more of Waco and Central Texas? We're only getting started, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you won't miss any of our upcoming episodes as we dive deeper into what there is to do, see, and eat in Waco and Central Texas. I hope you've enjoyed our quick look at Waco, Texas, its history, and what it is today. There's much more to come. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, would you hit the thumbs up, share it with friends, and leave us a comment to let us know your thoughts? We invite you to join us on our website at findushere.com, as well as on Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. Meanwhile, check out this video next for more travel fun, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our new content. Your subscription is always free, helps us grow the channel, and is always greatly appreciated.